Hi there, welcome back. The next question that we are going to revise falls under direct and inverse proportion. For part A, if y is directly proportional to square x, and if y equals to 6 when x equals to 4, express y in terms of x. Alright, as you can recall, when y is directly proportional to square x, y is the equation connecting y and x. The answer is y equals to k times square x. Can you recall? Alright, when two variables are directly proportional, this will be the equation. But if y is inversely proportional to square x, then the equation will be y equals to k over square x. Can you remember? Alright, so this will be the equation for y and x. Then you have to sub in the values right, for y and x to find the value of k. So when x equals to 4, y equals to 6. Alright, you get 6 equals to square 4 times k. And square 4 is 2. Alright, so k will be 6 over 2, which is equals to 3. So therefore, the equation will be y equals to 3 times square x. Alright, so for part A, it's pretty straightforward. And now for part B. Hence, find a percentage increase or decrease of y when x increases by 300%. Alright, hence means we're going to use the previous part answer. Okay, so let's uh, denote x0 as the starting value of x. Okay, that means this will be the value of x before it increases by 300%. Alright, so if this is the starting value of x, then y0 will be the starting value of y. Can you understand? Alright, so basically we just label these two x and y to be the starting values. And now, when x increase by 300%, what's going to happen? Alright, when x increase by 300%, the final value of x, which is uh, xn, will be equals to 4 times x0. Do you know why? Right, because when something increases by 300%, you basically need to add 3 times of it. Alright, so when you have x plus 3 times of x, the answer will be 4 times of x. Okay, so it means that xn will become a 4 times x0. And now you've got to substitute this whole thing into the equation over here. Alright, so yn, which is the final value of y, will be 3 times square root 4x0. And now you break up the square root 4 into 2, right, because square root 4 is 2. Okay, you bring it outside. And the reason why you do that is because when you take 3 times square x0, this whole thing is actually the same as the starting value of y, right, which is a y0. Okay, so in other words, the final value of y will be just 2 times the starting value of y. Alright, can you understand? In other words, when x increases by 300%, the final value of y will be simply just 2 times the starting value of y. But is this answer? No, okay, because they want the percentage increase. Alright, obviously this is an increase, it can't be a decrease. Alright, so to find the percentage increase, we take the final value of y minus the starting value of y, then divide by the starting value of y times 100%. Okay, so the final value of y is uh, 2 times the starting value of y. Alright, so when you cancel all the y0 away, you get 2 minus 1, right, which is 1. And 1 times 100%, you will just get 100%. Okay, so therefore, the y will have a percentage increase of 